India. A land that overwhelms the senses. I really want this to be a big, colourful adventure. With warm weather all year round. Oh, hot seat, hot seat. And a low cost of living. How much is that? 800. No, 70. Could this be the perfect place to retire? At my age, I should know what I want to do or where I want to go. Incredible. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Inspired by the famous film... Good morning, my chickapoos! <laughs> eight well-known faces... I look irresistible. ..are spending a month in India exploring the possibility of retirement. Complete culture shock, yet beautiful. Get yourself out here and pass me test. Good heavens! They'll be living on the east coast in Puducherry... My first swim in India. ..and in the foothills of the Himalayas. <laughs> to discover if they could spend their golden years here. But will the challenges of India prove a step too far? John, does this look like first class or even business? <laughs> no. Or could this fascinating country... Beautiful. ..become their new home? <laughs> India's extraordinary. I haven't been anywhere else in the world like it. It is a kaleidoscope of the whole of life. April the 10th, India is so extraordinary. Cows ambling along the main road. And the tuk tuk took us to a house called Gratitude. We had a warm welcome with flowers and fruit juice. Yeah, my diary. It's really good to write things down. <laughs> The senior citizens are settling into their second week living together in Puducherry, in the state of Tamil Nadu. Good morning. Morning, Susie. I was walking through a market and something went like this to me, and I was eating an orange, yeah. and the cow wanted the orange peel. The bloody thing was humongous. <laughs> <laughs> there are many things that I really, really love and enjoy here. And I think you have to leave your Western world behind and embrace India. There's lots of brown toast in here. Cheers. I love this group, the eight of us. I like to listen to Henry's stories and Barbara. She's a fascinating woman. She's obviously very, very Scottish. And I do love Duncan. I like a vain man. It's very nice, very, very nice. Good morning. How are you? Not too bad, apart from sitting on the um, proverbial throne yeah. for about ten yeah, minutes again this morning. Oh, dear. Up to now. My feeling of India, it's hot and sticky, and uh, I'm not sure I would love to retire here. But who knows? We've got plenty to see yet. What are you doing today? I think me and my man, my temporary man, <laughs> It's going to do... I forgot what it is now. We're going to get our fortune read. Oh, right. Oh, how interesting. Yeah. Well, good luck with that. Have a great okay. day. I'm ready. I follow you. Astrology plays a big role in the day-to-day -day lives of millions of Indians. Referred to as a divine science, it's used to help make decisions on major life events, such as marriage, when to conceive, and the perfect date to launch a new business. In the 90s, it was very popular to have your charts read, your palm read. Anything you could read was yeah. read. I'm hoping I'll be shown how to deal with money better than I do. And I'd like to know that I'm going to have work. So I'm very open I I don't quite know what retirement means because it in the acting world it is a dirty word I want to keep working because I enjoy it and I think I'm pretty good at it 
I want to go for another couple of years. This isn't the end of me. I believe what's in my future is 20 years of absolute bliss and happiness and excitement with my new wife. 20 years. You can live that long? Yeah. I'll only be 90. This is only the second time I've been away from my wife since I met her four years ago. We're together almost every day. We, you know, if, we, if we're apart for four days, you know, I mean, I have withdrawal symptoms, you know. I want to be with her all the time. Meet my wife, changed my life completely. I feel very blessed. Is it done this way, I think? Well, another beautiful day, mate. Right, which side would you like, sir? That I don't know. Let me get the left, because then you've got my right ear, so I can vaguely hear what you say. All right, see you inside. <laughs> Henry, accompanied by Paul, is also heading out for the day. I wake up every day with three new aches and pains, and I'm rather disappointed to throw in two. They're travelling ten miles south of the city to the region's leading hospital, which combines Western medicine with the health benefits of yoga. I've never heard of a yoga hospital, have you? Well, no, but it just might be that this is going to be the miracle cure, isn't It'd it? It'd be wonderful, wouldn't it? Having already visited an Ayurvedic doctor, Henry's keen to see if yoga therapy can help with an old injury. Holistic therapy. I've always poo-pooed it, because I really did feel it was beneficial. But when I had my legs massaged the other day, I was extremely impressed by it. It really has helped me. Yoga. Duncan says it helps everything. Oh, hello. <laughs> the heat, Henry. The heat. Yes, it'll be nice and cool inside. Yes. Where we are. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to Mahatma Gandhi. Dr. Meena Ramanathan is the lead yoga consultant at the Mahatma Gandhi Hospital and Research Center. This is our yoga therapy unit. At this hospital, yoga is an important part of inpatient treatment plans, helping with everything from diabetes to those recovering from surgery. Ah, ah this'll do. Age? My age is 79 and a half. OK. So what is your primary problem? I don't bend easily at all. I find it difficult to bend. Did you have a fall? Yes. When I was 17, I bicycled into a bus and I spent 28 days unconscious. I had 17 brain operations, getting bone splinters out of my head. My nose was built up and I had plastic surgery. Up until the age of 17, everything had gone very well for me. When I was 16, I made 100 at Lords, and which had only been done by two other people. Both went on to Captain England. Then I had this terrible accident. And I was obviously never going to play cricket again. I never get into a comfortable position, and it stops me going to sleep. And that's the great problem. Cricket had been taken away from me. So life did take a bit of rethinking. And then I thought, what have I ever been good at? And I, I, the only thing I come up with cricket. And that was how the whole process started, which has led to, you know, commentary, cricket commentary and everything else. What do we do next? Yes, please come in. Henry and Paul are joining a daily yoga therapy class held for senior patients, which also attracts medical students from all over the world. There's eight of us, and uh, we're all retirement age, obviously. Well, close to it. I'm only 42, really, but don't laugh. So all of you relax. And we're just going to chant. And now we are going to do something funny. We'll be letting go of a lot of tensions and pressures. Start. <laughs> Rotate the hip. Yes, I love the dance you're doing, Paul. Oh, hey. Set and some wheels. We... OK. <laughs> Dr. Ramanathan believes that yoga therapy not only reduces high blood pressure... Lie down. Lie down. ..but can boost the immune system... Closing your eyes. ..and even help with insomnia. Relax yourself. 
enjoy the peace and slowly back to the sitting position and henry can be yeah. sit up so that's right ah i'll see it's not good <laughs> mm, thank you so much i felt relaxed in an extraordinary way i don't remember ever having felt quite like that before and in the end you i fell went, asleep i fell asleep on my back something i've never done i'm going to do that 20 minutes a day i think i might do it all the time maybe on the other side of town okay so this is a vedic horoscope oh, okay yeah Astrologist Vikram is using the alignment of the planets at the time of Brit's birth to help predict her future. The only thing I want to know mm -hmm. is that I'm going to have work. I'm sort of most content mm -hmm. when I work. For you, Sun is in the constellation of Hasta. So what this indicates is uh, a lot more work. Oh, really? if you want to stay relevant in this business you have to look after yourself i'm content i look in the mirror it's okay i'm not going to scare the children <laughs> now your sun sign is virgo okay one challenge with the sun in virgo is uh, you could resort to food and drink as a means of coping with stress i was very 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 fat as a child ah i mean when, up until 15 i was mm -hmm. like a pudding which means controlling the diet becomes important yes i am very specific with my food i'm very vain i like to look good i like to be slim because i'm a bond girl and i will always be bond girl i'll take it to the grave with me with pride and whilst i am known all over the world i feel a responsibility to keep britaclan going and uh, what's your last name banatay so this is your birth chart mm -hmm. uh, if you have specific questions so what do you say about my spouse okay what would you like to know I'm um, and you can tell me she's the most important person in my life about my children and her child at the moment so Mhm. Mm I want an age limit on how long I want to live. I just want to live as long as I can because you know my wife is 79 much younger than me. We do enjoy each other's company we have a great time. So during the period of the moon there's likely to be extensive long distance travel. You know. What about it? The period is 10 years. Oh, what was it not 10 years of traveling? Yeah. Mm. Also there's going to be some kind of recognition some kind of rewards. Wonderful. Okay, thank you very much indeed. That's been very enlightening. He says I will get an award from someone this year. Sir Duncan from now on we'll call Sir Duncan and that way the queen will hear this and she say, "Yeah, he's a decent fella." Let's give him something. <laughs> Let's give him the lowest one, Order of the British Empire. Oh, I've got that. Oh, you have an OB? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Back at the Haveli. 71-year-old Barbara is taking advantage of the peace and quiet. Just in the wind you're gone forever like when blown leaves When I first got here I thought I'll never ever be able to stand the chaotic nature of India I mean I was completely terrified unable to cross a road but I've been enjoying the culture the color even the honking of the horns I'm getting used to um but the weather is still a bit of a problem. Oh gosh, it's hot. Oh, the heat. 
to escape from the soaring temperatures, the group is heading four miles out of town to the Sankaraparani River. Look at this. This is really quite an impressive river. Originating in the mountains of Tamil Nadu to the north, the river is a vital source of irrigation for the villages that surround Puducherry. You are my arm candy. <laughs> then I think we go up here. Yeah, you go first and make sure it's safe. Wonderful though, isn't it? And the temperature's perfect. First time I've felt a nice cool breeze while we've been here. What do you think, Henry? I don't know, I, I love this place. I think it's terrific, don't you? I mean, I, I like that, you, you know, you've got everything. <laughs> yes. And it's all a wonderful adventure. I think it's a marvellous, it's sort of therapeutic country to India. You have to have it on its own terms. Yes, entirely. You can't, you can't, you can't it tell won't it, compromise with you. You can't you tell can't it what to do. You change it, no. 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 We're off. That's it. Beautiful breeze coming off the water. Gosh, look at this. Is this dinner? Is it a sort of quiche thing? I doubt if it's a steak and kidney pie, though, which I would murder at the minute. So peaceful. So what do you think? Did you ever consider retirement? On this river? I wouldn't mind coming living here. I think there's an awful lot to do. I've got a lot of friends in India. Do you know, I never thought for a minute that I would leave the comfort that I have created for myself of L.A. with my grandchildren, my friends, but here we are, and it's, yeah. it's absolutely wonderful. It's yeah. fascinating. Yeah. Yes. I think I'm in a different position from all of you, though. If, if you've actually got a family, then you keep together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As I'm not in that situation, I could be open to it. Would you consider coming back over? Yes, would I would. I think retirement in India at the moment is an option, as long as I didn't have to separate myself completely from Scotland. I do love it here. I love it. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Cheers. India. Cheers. India. Cheers. India. I'll come over and get you two. Slanshava. And back up straight and down. After yesterday's yoga therapy, Paul and Henry have started a new morning routine. The anger, let it out of you. <laughs> Do you think that's enough? Yes. Ladies first, obviously. Duncan, Britt, Zandra and Paul are also up early. Keen to learn about Hinduism, India's biggest religion. Do we have seat belts? They're travelling a hundred miles north to the city of Valor. Oh my God, there are no seat belts. Home to the world's largest golden temple. I'm looking forward to this. I brought the sunglasses, not for the sun, but for all the gold, the reflection we need, don't we? Me too. <laughs> when I was a kid, you couldn't afford to go out of the country. You know, it was a day trip to Cleethorpes for me as a kid, and that was it. You know, so everything in India is amazing. Things you would never see back home, never see. I haven't even been to church, so... <laughs> you know, it's just a new experience to me. I was told I was gold, and I said, let's go. <laughs> Somebody turned off the air conditioning. It's got an oven. Back in Puducherry. Nice row of tuk tuks. Here we go. John and Susie have decided to cook dinner for the group. Keep those knees in. 
keen to impress the others, they want to put on a traditional Tamil feast. I'm not a cook, and I think if I was retired, I would want to learn to cook. So I ought to have a few lessons from somebody on how to put it together, because I wouldn't have a clue. Here we are. So this is the building. Mm. They've been invited to the home of a local chef who has offered to help them prepare the meal. Sharma, <laughs> we brought you produce. Yes. Sharma runs a local catering business and specializes in Tamil cuisine. Okay. Ready Ciao. for cooking? Pardon? You're ready for cooking? Yes. yes. Okay, I'll make you do a lot of things. Okay. John, now this is your job. Make the dough for the parotas. Okay then. Good exercise. Yes. <clears throat> A traditional Tamil meal involves a large number of dishes. And now a salt. No, no, not like that. You should always take it with your fingers. OK. John starting with parota. Little oil and some water. A flatbread served at weddings, festivals and feasts. So you mix them together. I can see the strength in you. Give me the hard work. Yes. OK, we'll make the mangoes. Mango chutney is a must. And now turmeric. In? Yes. Central to Tamil cuisine is the belief that all meals should contain six different tastes. It is very important, this chutney, because it has sweet, it's got bitter, salt, astringent and sourness. Everything is there, which is important. I like that, representing all things. All the flavours of life. Oof. How's that? How's that looking? OK. I'm pretty acclimatised to the ways of the East. And I love Indian food, yeah, because my former wife, Bridget, was Indian. She used to cook poppadums. They're really hard to cook, actually. See, the motion has to be like this. But I'm single now, yeah, so um, open to offers. <laughs> no, you just, I, I'm going with you. Push it and then lift it up. Mm -hmm. OK. Yes, fold it. If I embark on a relationship now, I would hope it would be my relationship to the end of my time on this planet, actually. Work out. <laughs> the right person to do it. Yes. That, yeah. Yeah, really better. Yeah. yeah, I swim, you know. Yeah? Work out a bit. I don't mind living alone, but I would love to share my life. But um, I'm quite shy, actually. Bring on the next one, whatever it is. Yeah. On the outskirts of the city of Valor lies the Sri Puram Golden Temple. Built in 2007 and spread over a hundred acres. Oh, look. Wow. Mm. Yeah, very nice. The temple is gilded with one and a half tons of real gold and cost over 100 million pounds. Oh, look. I can see the gold glistening. Isn't it lovely? Yeah. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Isn't that amazing? Duncan, Britt, Zandra and Paul are being guided round the temple by some of the devotees. Welcome to Sri Narayani Pedam, the Golden Temple. Many of whom come from all over the world. Nice to meet you. Yeah. How's your journey? A bit warm, <laughs> on the warm side. Thank Very happy to be here now. So we're waiting for the first puja, the puja to the cow. Oh, so is this yeah. the cow oh, yes. coming yes. in now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's amazing. A puja is a prayer ritual performed by Hindus every day. What do they do to her? Yeah, they're going to paint her with tumuri while they're doing the mantras. Regarded as sacred in India... She's perfectly happy. Yeah, she's very happy. She's getting loved every day. <laughs> followers believe that cows are the personification of Kamudenu, a divine bovine goddess, and bestowing blessings upon her can make wishes come true. The cow's the symbol of the divine mother um, because she gives all the milk. Yeah. So anyone can come and take part, and it happens twice a day. I'm, I'm overwhelmed. India's a land where nothing applies. Everything's turned on top of its head and your mouth drops. Welcoming thousands of worshippers every day. Oh, oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Bloody horse! 
the temple honors Lakshmi, the female goddess of wealth and prosperity. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yes. I've never been a person to go to church and things, but it's very serene and calming. I'm not religious in the slightest, but there is something about the atmosphere of the place. So we're going to the fire puja now, the yagam. During the fire prayer... So if you'd like, you can take a seat around the fire pit. Stress and negativity are burned, and the smoke is thought to purify and cleanse the worshipper. Take a handful, and then you can drop it. What is it? Rice? Swaha, you just dolly. That's all. What I admire is the total devotion they have to their god. I only choose to call it God because it's easier than call it John. Of course, I believe that there is something higher than myself, but I don't have that need to go to a church or a temple to be connected and believe what all these other people believe. I always envy people with deep beliefs and you're really aware in India that everyone is very religious. And I think if I was to retire, I do think India would be one country that could bring you some sort of peace in a, in a different way from anywhere else. Careful, there's hot oil there. Back at Sharma's house in Puducherry. See how you fry this. John and Susie are learning how to cook the parotas and marinate the fish. This is a spice which I make at home. What shall I do? Just dip your finger and lick. Very good. I don't ever eat Indian food because in England it's not very nice. You can taste if you want. And it won't be too hot? No, it's not. It's lovely. Yeah. I can taste all the spices and the herbs. I haven't tasted anything like that. So this is a miracle to me. Oh, it's lovely. Good. Ooh. On tonight's menu is fried fish. Crikey. Flatbread, vegetable curries, rice, fritters, and a variety of chutneys. The amount of work. I suddenly feel a little bit faint. With most of the dishes now cooked for tonight's feast, Susie and John just need to learn how to serve it. This side should be always facing to the left, left-hand side. Yes. Large enough to hold several dishes and accompanying condiments, the meal is presented on a banana leaf. This is pickle. It's always in one corner. With the food laid out so it's eaten in a particular order. So this is a lentil curry. Aubergine vegetable. This is the mango chutney. Okay. Fish fry you can keep in the center. The preparing of it is. Uh... Right. I think I've got it all in. Bless you. You're amazing. Thanks a lot, Sean. Bye. Bye. Bless you, starting up a catering company. Over my dead body. Five minutes from Sharma's house. Maestro, do you speak English? I'm lost. And keen to add to his collection of colorful shirts. So you have to go out? Yes. And then take a left? Take a left. Henry is trying to locate a tailor. No. I can't believe I go left here. Do I? You know that address? No. I can't go left down there. Let's go this way and see what happens. Every time I come to India, the one thing I always try and do is get colourful shirts made. The last time I was in Chennai, commentating on a test match, um, two and a half years ago, I had 12 shirts made in three days. It was absolutely marvellous. Recommended to Henry by one of the Haveli hosts... Isn't it wonderful, all these street scenes? His studio tailors started trading 40 years ago and is a family-run business. Oh, good afternoon. Now, is this... Am I at the right address? Yes. They supply everything from shirts and suits to wedding attire and bespoke tailoring. 
my great love in life, you can see coloured shirts. Please, please come. Come on, let's look at colours for shirts, yeah, first yeah. of all. So many people dress themselves in grey, and I think when people are dressed in colours, somehow it lifts one up. No, I want a yellow that's more like that. Uh, I think no, uh, a more, more a mango. A more vi vibrant mango colour. Yes. yes, I do. Um, I've got to a point in life I really couldn't give a stuff what anyone thinks about me. No, I don't like that. Ah, that's not my, not me. A bespoke tailor-made shirt in London's Savile Row costs around three hundred pounds. Let's have a look there. In <laughs> India, the cost is just thirty. It's a very good material for the summer. This kind of linen is more me. Magnificent. Yes, handmade. Can I yes, put it on? Sure. If people think I look like Coco the Clown wearing all these silly clothes, so what? Doesn't matter to me. It's a little tight, it but is. we can do with this. My Italian wife loves colours and has really exaggerated me. She pressed on the accelerator when she met me. Now you can feel like a real king. A king? Well, yes. And, oh, my goodness me. Valeria and I have been married for five years, and she's absolutely wonderful. Got a great sense of humour. She's incredibly tolerant with me. Oh, my God. She does everything in the house, and I'm absolutely hopeless. You feel I look irresistible? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I think I irritate her at a screaming point, but she never lets on. Or very seldom lets on, anyway. For the price of a single tailored shirt in London... Your name? Of course, of course, of course. Henry has ordered seven shirts and three pairs of trousers. My measurement's all right. I knew he'd get to my inside leg at some stage. <laughs> As night falls... What do you want to drink now? I had that champagne. Great, but well, it's gone. It's gone. Susie and John... I don't know what we're doing. ..are putting the final touches to their traditional Tamil feast. Right, now, where's that list? Oh, good point. This is a nightmare, being in a kitchen you don't know where anything is. They just need to fry the fish and fritters and cook the parotas. Have we found any oil? I got it out. Where did I put it? Heavens above. Can I give you a hand, Susie? We don't. Well, the thing is, yeah, Barbara. I, I would we, love I, her to help. I only want two people to be in this kitchen. Okay. Because okay. too many cooks, and we know we know what we're going to do. Can I set the table for you? No, that's because really we have a the, specific way of doing it that, that we've just learned. This is a nightmare. I can't find that um, mixture. Which one's that's that? That's the fish, isn't it? That should be cold. But it's, we've looked it's in there. It's a disaster. Though. So how long has that been going on in the kitchen, then? I thought I'd come down and help. And I ran in and I said, can I help? And Susie said, yes. And John said, no! <laughs> I mean, I hope they don't come to blows. Where's the red one? There. No. Um... Or was it in here? Was that it? Yes. Living with people can be stressful. I can't imagine sharing my life with anybody now. No, can't imagine it. I got divorced years ago. And I'm used to being on my own because I've been alone now since, uh, I think, 98 or something like that. Do you know where the plot is? Does anybody know where... Yes, 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 plates. yes, yes. Thank you, Susie. For me, the negative side <laughs> of having a relationship outweighs the positive side. To share your life with somebody, I think I'd rather be single. Oh, dear. What do you think's happening with the supper? Tonight, some of the group are leaving Puducherry for two days. Well, I'm a little worried because um, it's soon. Yeah. They're booked on a sleeper train departing at 10.30. Okay. Okay. Don't just go and sit down. It'll be quicker if we right. sit down, because we'll never get ready. You all well, right there? Well, it's, you know, it's as good as I can get it. Just about. I'm going to put the rice. That's all right with you. Yep. It's OK if we sit down, no, no, John. Well, 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 no, hang on a minute. Please, ju just wait until we've completed our mission, so to speak. Oh, will it take long? Oh, no, get five minutes. Give us five, yeah? Five? OK. Please. Mine got... <clears throat> we should take a picture of this table. Because you it? can, darling, they're hungry. Yeah, that's it. Why are we waiting? No, don't Why? you dare. <laughs> don't you dare, Paul. Let's let them in and then they well, can... Well, wait. Do... Could you just take one of me? Would you mind? Have you got all the food in? Yeah. Great. You going to hit the gong? Come on, come on. Oh, good, sit down. 
Well, it looks great, John. And we're eating with our hands. Oh, my God. This is a traditional Look supper. Right. John, what is that Pumpkin, fish, uh, my dear? It's kingfish. Okay. It's all savoury, apart from the puddingy bits, which are in the corner, the banana, the two sweets. Come here. Here's a hug. I'm a bit hot. Well done. <laughs> Well done. Cheers. Thank you so much. Brilliant. John. Absolutely yes. brilliant. Cheers. Cheers, John. Lovely. And how do we eat them? With the bread. With the, with the chip. The eating with my hands is not my favourite. It's a question of can do and prefer not to. I can do. It's <laughs> absolutely wonderful. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's so well, interesting it and different. All honour to you, because I could never do this. Not ever. So, are you going on the train ride? I don't know. Are you? Oh, yes. At about 10.30, right, Duncan? Yeah. We're all there, right? Oh, yeah. I'm going. I'm looking forward day. to sitting on a train. Keen to travel like the locals, Susie, Zandra, Duncan, Britt and John are taking a night train 200 miles south to Madurai, the cultural capital of Tamil Nadu. This is for the train ride in case the uh, toilets aren't what they should be. Uh, yeah, anyway, we'll say no more on that subject. <laughs> That's a just in case. As well as packing for the night train... My sunglasses, my passport. ..the group will be attending the Chitterai Festival, an event that attracts up to a million people every year. I'm taking my gold jewellery. Always dress up in doubt, you see. Gold jewellery. What a shit. But one member of the group has had a change of heart. So I was packing to go to the festival and um, I'm just not feeling great. I just don't feel well enough to travel on the train. Yeah, I think it's probably just one of the hazards of travelling in India. You know, sometimes it's the food, sometimes it's, 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 it's the stomach, sometimes it's just the fact that the sun is so hot, you just feel exhausted, and that sort of impacts on you. And all of a sudden, it just come over me. Au revoir and bon voyage. Have a wonderful time. An overnight train, fantastic. Can't wait. I love trains. Will we have to fight our way on, I wonder? The group is departing from Chennai Central Railway Station. We're here. Let's go. My glasses have steamed up again. With half a million passengers a day... Coming through, coming through. Ooh. 17 platforms... Big station, huge. ..and more than 200 trains arriving and departing... It doesn't have a platform number. ..it is the busiest station in southern India. Is this the beginning? No, look, it goes right back down there. I guess if we keep going along... Don't lose us. Yeah, we'll keep moving. Well, I hope it's not that train. Oh, shit. I... Eight train stations. I'm getting we, in a um, total panic. No, um, uh, well, let's just, just go let's here. Go let's go. Way. Come on. I am not someone who usually would put the backpack on in a rough it. I haven't done sleepovers on a train since I was in school. I like the luxuries that I have been able to provide myself with. You are right, Brent? It's not like Victoria Station, is it? Wait for me! Let's put it this way so that we are perfectly clear. I'm a creature of comfort. Without luxuries, the creature will not be happy, but the creature will cope. Oh, here's a sign. What does it say? Oh, it's not in English. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Do you know if this is the Madurai train? Yeah, yeah. It is. Thank you. Indian trains have up to eight different classes of travel. What number carriage? Ranging from unreserved general class... I don't want to worry you. ..to air-conditioned first class. But our names are not on here. But what number? HA1. The group is booked in the AC2 tier class, which provides bunk beds and much-needed air conditioning. Ladies, ladies, wrong carriage. But first, they have to find it. HA1 is what we're looking for. Let's go, let's go. I understand. Let's go, 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 go. Looking for, that's not yours, baby, that's mine. <laughs> OK. Oh, hello, sorry. We're looking for HA1. Even the guy who works here doesn't know where it is. Wait, wait, oh! I think this is it. 
Number 44. Hey, everybody. We got it. We made it. <laughs> <laughs> a sleeper ticket from Chennai to Madurai cost £24. John, does this look like first class or even business? <laughs> no. And the nighttime journey takes eight and a half hours. Look at this. Oh, very good. Now that's luxury. <laughs> There's even a plug to charge your mobile up. Oh, that? there is one up there. And one Ooh, there. They've got everything. Yeah. Oh, my God. We made it. Me and my three wives. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> X. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm going to love looking out of this window. Who snores? I don't think I do. I do. I warn you now. Good night. Do my bien. As dawn breaks, the 10.30 p.m. from Chennai is nearing the city of Madurai. Oh, that's beautiful. With the mountains behind. Oh, lovely. Well, I don't feel half as bad as I thought I would, having slept on the train. If you have one good night's sleep, one good night's sleep, then the world is open, your mind is open, your body is open, and you cope with anything. Good morning, darling. Good morning, Brett. <coughs> Did you sleep OK? No. I swear to God, I couldn't sleep. How many hours sleep do you need? Ten. Do you... Ten. <laughs> <laughs> it could not be worse. <laughs> Journey from hell. Tonight, Zandra, Britt, Susie and John will join the thousands of people who flock to the streets of Madurai for the annual Chitterai Festival. This is amazing. Hundreds of people all waiting. And another member of the group has decided to join them. Back in Puducherry, Duncan's feeling much better. Feeling really good this morning, so I've decided to go to the festival. I think it should be a, a you know once in a lifetime chance. Duncan, have a lovely time. Is, are you really escaping from us I boring am. old farts? <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Henry. <laughs> Bye, Paul. My dear old thing. Well, our best love to all of them. Okay, we'll do okay. that. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll miss you, mate. We will. Cheers, mate. Absolutely. Miss you. Miss you. Thank God he's gone, eh? Hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that! <laughs> Joking, man. See you later. <laughs> no, my coffee. Another cup of tea. You've got to have at least two cups of tea in the morning. I think it's gone very quiet. It's, it's very just same, quiet. Same I like it. Usual. I think it's rather nice with the three of us. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing this morning? I've got a driving lesson. Oh, gosh. Yeah, if I came to live here, I'd be driving around everywhere. But there's traffic on the roads. It's mental, really. Yeah, that's a very good point. Mm. Mm. Total utter chaos. Yeah, yeah, I've noticed. But it's fun, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Not sure if that's true. I'll have to try it. All of India's 230 million road users must pass a driving test, but many rely on family and friends to learn to drive. This looks like a driving school. Although Paul passed his test 53 years ago, he's decided to seek professional help. Before going on the road here, I wouldn't fancy going on it without having a lesson or two first. Well, I can drive anywhere in the world, but this is not the world, is it? Keen to take his Indian driving test, he's booked himself a lesson at the Maruti Driving School. So we're going on some nice quiet roads. So is it? Are we going on some quiet roads? Yeah, of course. Oh, good. A lesson with Arun Kumar costs 750 rupees, which is about eight pounds. Do you get many bumps and scrapes on the car? Yeah, of course. Yeah? Last week itself, uh, we met with an accident. Glasses are broken. 
Yeah. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any rules to the road. Everybody just beep and comes out and crosses over. Yeah. <laughs> when I was in my early 20s, I'd look at somebody at my age, I'd think, what an old, old person. Can't imagine ever being that old. But I tell you, it flies there in no time. You think, where's it all gone? Now it's a time to change here. My turn to drive. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Nowadays, I'm a big believer in live every day as it comes, because it could be your last. Indicator on. Do I need to use my horn? Yeah, of course. Like that? Yeah. Close. Slow, 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 slow. <laughs> have to be alert. It's quite mental, isn't it, really? Actually, I'm really enjoying this, you know? It's a shame that old people have this stigma about them that the rubbish drivers can't drive. It's not true. I still find I drive just as easily and as well now as I did when I was 18. If I keep turning the wipers on instead of yeah. the indicator. Every time, every time. I'm dead again, look at this. What am I doing? It is hell on earth, but everybody just goes for it. And I did the same, go for it. You know, beep, get out of the way. Thank you very much indeed. It was, uh, yeah, of course, sir. That was a pleasure to meet you and a, a pleasure to drive the car okay. with you. And thank you. And you do think I'll pass my test? Yeah, of course you will. Uh, Good you stuff. Will do. Thank you. Back in Madurai... Hello, my darling! Ah. Uh -huh. ..and reunited with Duncan... I miss my arm candy. <laughs> Come along. The group have been invited to meet a local family to learn more about the Chitterai Festival. This is much emptier than it was in Chennai. You know what? I think people have all... they're all getting ready. It's like the, the lull before the storm. The Marugan family have put on a traditional welcome for the group. Complete with flower garlands and ancient Tamil folk music. Thank you for inviting us. What uh, is your name? My name is Priya. Briha. Priya. Priya. I am Brit. Yeah, Brit. Briha. Mm. We are really honoured to have you here. <laughs> oh, we're honoured to be here. We're honoured to be a Thank part you. of your festival. Thank you. Yeah. Fantastic. This has been going on for hundreds of years. Oh, thousands of years. Thousands. Oh, yeah. Thousands of years, oh. right. Amazing, yeah. The Chitarai Festival celebrates the marriage of two Hindu deities. What are we going to see? People will be carrying that golden horse all along their way from Madurai street by street, and it will go to the river Vaigai. One of the biggest spectacles of the month-long festival is the procession of the bride's brother riding into Madurai. We're very excited. Wow. Oh, open it, open, open it. it. Open it? Open it. You can see it. Oh, look at this. Oh, how lovely. Oh! Tomorrow morning, you must be here. Oh, wow. We can yeah. wear this. Oh! Dressing up as Hindu gods and mythical characters... Wonderful. ..is an important part of the festival tradition. Oh, Duncan, I love you like that. Uh, thank, oh, thank you, Britt. Goodness. I'm Scottish. I'm used to wearing something similar, called the kilt. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> now you look like groom. Yeah, all oh, right. Yeah. Oh, OK, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tonight is a special event. It's going to be full of hundreds of surprises. India never fails to amaze me. More is better. Gosh. I mean, Are you loving all this? I love it. You know how shallow and vain I am. Mm. Yes. <laughs> You're looking young. He's saying that you are pretty and young. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll take that compliment. Thank you. It's all very exciting. I am festival ready. <laughs> Thank you. It's a 
is very nice, very pleasant. Of course. Yes, it's a sort of, it's a typical Indian ground. Like a village green, isn't it? In a way. This afternoon in Puducherry, Henry, Barbara and Paul have come to the Palmyra cricket ground on the outskirts of town. Henry Blaifeld, how do you do? Very nice to see you. They've been invited to watch local team Puducherry play rival team Palmyra. You can toss up the coin. My goodness me, would you really like me to do this? OK, who's going to call? Sir. I, I call head. You call head. What is it? I can't see. It's, it's heads. It's heads. Yes. And now there you are. Congratulations. Yes. So you're batting. You're batting. Good luck indeed to everyone. And let's have a wonderful afternoon's cricket. Okay. And may the best side win. I love watching cricket in India more than any other country in the world. I really is serious to do. And isn't this splendid? We're, we're underway. Here he is again. In the... Oh, oh, oh. Oh. That. Indians bring their own special joy to cricket. They play it in a much more balletic way than perhaps anyone else. They bat in a lovely, wristy, attractive way. And again, he's long in the leg. He's got a mincing stride, rather, up to the weak oh, 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 he pulls out a weighted shot. leg, four runs. That was a fine shot. He picked it up beautifully. Timed it well, hit it out of the middle of the bat, and that goes away for four. Lovely day here on the Palmyra ground. Hello, uh, how, how do you do? He's grown up listening to you. Oh, bad luck. What and is I remember. It? <laughs> I offer you my deepest sympathy. <laughs> Just tell us, how did you get the name Blowers? Blowers, well, my name is Blofeld. Yeah. And Jonas, Brian Johnston, yeah, Johnson. who was always Jonas, called everyone Urs. I became Blof Blofeld Blowers. You know, and it, and it worked like this. Hello, uh, how do you do? One of our best openers we ever had since the oh, 1960s. Yeah. Absolutely. I knew your voice, but didn't know you. He knew your voice, he didn't know and you. And it still sounds the same, does Just it? Just the same. Just the same, bit croaky. <laughs> I don't know anything about cricket, but I can hear how much people love him. These lovely old men are so thrilled to meet him. It's just fantastic. Good <laughs> luck. Makes me want to cry watching him surrounded by these people who love him so much. You and other of these poor people who've had to listen to me for all these years. Shall we all watch some cricket? What good fun. Ooh. The other thing which is so good about um, Indian cricket is the Indian people. Didn't he play that beautifully? He just leant into it. He didn't hit it. It was a lovely shot. They love it, they live it, they, they cheer, they... There's something about them that marks them out from anywhere else in the world. Henry, can I ask your, your friends... Well, of your, course you can. Where did you all listen to Henry? On How did you... Radio. radio on TV. TV. That test in Bombay, that Jubilee test, was that the match where there was a total eclipse of the sun That's on the right, first yeah. day? 16th of February. Yes, it was, wasn't it? And I remember... I very well remember that. September. Looked up, I've looked, enjoyed it so much. It's been such fun. We're all, we're all, we're all old cricketing balls, aren't we? <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> but it's wonderful boring each other. Each other. That's yes, okay. absolutely. I mean, if I lived out here, I should get myself involved in some way with the cricket scene. It's, of course, I would. Big smile. <laughs> One, two, three. Drop your pants. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's deeply touching. Terrific. I mean, it's been a wonderful day. It's a lovely ground, isn't it? And what fun. I've loved it all. Wouldn't have missed it for the world. <laughs> 200 miles south in Madurai, the Chitterai Festival is well underway. Hello. Like in my life. No, me neither. The group is meeting the Murugan family at one of the many temples that line the main street. I think the drums are behind us. Yeah, the drums are coming. But first, they need to get through the thousands of locals and pilgrims from all over India. Oh, 
mind all your mug there? Eh? Mind the mug. The crowds wait up all night. Hello, how are you? Nice to see you again. For the culmination of the festival, the procession of Hindu deity Lord Vishnu riding a golden horse. It's totally overwhelming. We can't remember what, whether it's day, night, or what we've even done for the last two days. No, we have no idea. We're in a daze. Something's happening. So they're pushing the crowds. Did you see the horse? There he is. Yes! The golden horse, carried by up to 40 men, stops at different temples through the night with devotees gathering in huge numbers to receive his blessings. Oh, my God! When he goes in, he goes at such a speed. What's he on? He's coming in now. He's coming, he's coming. And finally, at 5 o'clock in the morning, the group gets to see the famous golden horse up close. This is the first time I've stayed up all night for about three decades, and it was really well worth it. And yeah, it was really fantastic. It was, it was awesome, awesome. I'm wide awake now. I don't know what time it is. I'm like five or six in the morning. But um, it's amazing what you can miss when you're fast asleep. That was incredible. It was worth the wait. It was definitely. I began worth to think I was going to wait forever, and it was fantastic. It's amazing. All the color here has been mind-blowing. India is probably the most open and friendly country I've ever been to. Next time... Oh, a thing. Oh, oh, the group embraces local life. Hey, I've never had my ears tickled from behind before. <laughs> master some ancient customs. The expression here is anger. No! Come on, have a bite. Oh, no. And throw an Indian birthday party. We have a Hollywood princess for you. Oh, great! Two more absolutely fabulous princesses, Eddie and Patsy, are living it up. Go and